going on everybody today i'm going to give you a walkthrough install of the number four cylinder coolant mod for getting bob tuning we're just going to go over some tools that are recommended to make this stall a little bit easier so let's get after it all right so as far as the tools go need a good set of quality jack stands a good quality jack and a drain pan to catch the coolant with for starters and actual tools themselves a good set of long needle nose pliers preferably angled flathead screwdriver quarter inch extension socket seven millimeter, eight, 10 and 12 sockets, breaker bar with varying extensions, 12 millimeter hex, hex head socket, wire brush, and some acetone. To clean the uh, hole out there when you get the plug removed from the block. A one inch crow's foot. A note on this one inch crow's foot, the fitting on the get a dom tuning is a one inch i would venture a guess and say that if you had a one inch deep well you may be able to use that also and i'll explain further when we get into the install here uh, permatex gasket sealer number 25229 comes in black or gray the gray is a different number this is the black you have the razor blade radiator clamp pliers and a spill free funnel kit so after you get the car up in the air and get it secured on jack stands, first thing we got to do is remove the plastic pan from out from underneath the car. And it's held on by a series of plastic clips and three 12 millimeter bolts. After we get that removed, we got to get up underneath the car and drain the coolant. Get up under here and show you which hose we got to disconnect. I hope everybody can see. So the lower radiator hose, when it attaches to the water pump for these uh, long needle nose pliers that are offset or not offset but angled you can get this uh, hose clamp pinch it and slide it back pop this hose loose and drain the coolant into a pan and you want to drain it until it completely stops dripping because when you think it doesn't have any coolant in it uh, you get blasted in the face later on down the line with some coolant so just let it let it drain all the way out and uh, then we'll move on to the next part of the install all right, so hopefully you can see finger right there. That's where the plug is that takes the 12 millimeter socket in the back of the block here. You need to use the breaker bar with the extensions and the 12 millimeter hex head to get that plug out. The plug is sealed in there with, not really Loctite, but I'm thinking it's just the orange sealer that you see, like gasket sealer. It's in there pretty good. Takes a little bit of force to get it out. But once you get it out, then you need to take the acetone and a rag and clean it up really good clean the orange out of it it'll be stuck in the threads make sure everything is nice and dry after everything's cleaned up you can go to start to reinstall the cooling mod and you can see it right here in my opinion one little tip would be disassemble the coolant mod take the fitting out and this is where i say that you could use the one inch deep well uh, i don't have one but you might be able to fit it over there a little bit easier than a crow's foot what you do is you take the gasket sealer and you put it on the threads of the fitting you screw it back into the block by hand and you'll know you'll have enough gasket sealer on it now you can't really see but it'll squish out a little bit once you get it butted all the way up against the this back of the block and then you can take your crow's foot and or deep well if you got one tighten it down you don't want to use excessive force because you're you know you're tightening up into an aluminum piece here so just get it nice and snug and that gasket sealer will act as a, you know, kind of like a Loctite or sealer on the threads. Now, I use the one minute version, but I let it set for 12 hours just to make sure, because if you don't get it right, it will leak. So just uh, keep that in mind. You don't want to be too hasty with it. Make sure you do it right and let it set up the way it needs to. But if you've, if you've taken everything apart, you can go after it seals up, you put it all back together and then you put your hose back on and you put your T on it and then you'll look up here and you'll have to cut your heater line right here in the middle. And one thing to note, there is two lines here together. You got one above and one below. It's the low one and it's got the black fitting that runs in, the black fitting line that runs into the back of it. The other one's silver, you want the black one. So you, you run it up and you make sure that T as straight as it can be with the angle of the line and you don't wanna kink your cooling mod line and you wanna have room between it and the steering. Yeah, I've got about a finger width or so in between mine. But you wanna make that cut, just be prepared because this line might have some coolant in it. So you make a cut, you might get a face full of coolant. <laughs> so 
just bear that in mind. But really, you can see how everything goes together as far as the clamps, T, just tighten everything down. These clamps are seven millimeter heads. That's where the seven millimeter little socket comes in. Position everything accordingly. And then you're ready to fill the car back up and uh, burp the system. The final step, you gotta burp the coolant system. So this is where the spill-free funnel comes into play. $25 well spent uh, as far as how much it helps make this install easier or anytime you work with the coolant system, makes it easier. But you attach it to the upper res, you, know, you fill it up until the car quits taking coolant and you got about two inch coolant level left in the funnel. And you go start the car, turn the heater on high. This whole burping process takes roughly Man, let's just say 35, 45 minutes. You can't really put a time frame on it. Just depends on how long it takes all the air bubbles to quit coming out. But during this process, uh, Get a Dom recommends taking the uh, radiator hose pliers and pinching the, the mod off, the coolant mod off, to help facilitate the burping process. Once all your air bubbles are gone, then the system should be good to go and Check for leaks during the process. If you don't have any leaks, it's your coolant mod. The install is complete. So that wraps up my walkthrough install of the number four cylinder mod from Get a Dom. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. Catch you in the next.